my equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to share with you guys how I am going to update my wheelbarrow. I don't know if I'm saying it right, wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow, I don't know. But this is my wheelbarrow and it needs to be updated. So I got a couple of cans of spray paint and I wanted to show you how I was able to update this wheelbarrow that I use for my barn for less than $15. It was a lot more affordable to make this over instead of buying a new one. So the first thing I did was find some Krylon spray paint. And this is farm implement spray paint that's supposed to be really strong. And I have my wheelbarrow. And then I just took a damp rag and cleaned off the outside of the wheelbarrow. I'm not too worried about the inside, but I did want to make sure to get some of the dust and dirt off of the outside or what everybody's going to see. So after I cleaned off the exterior portion of the wheelbarrow, I tipped it over to clean the under portion because this is what's really gonna be exposed to the elements mostly. So I really wanna make sure this is mostly clean before I spray paint it. Again, that's the Krylon Farm Implement Spray Paint, and this is in International Red. I shook it up and then just started painting the wheelbarrow itself. I found it easier to tip it over and paint the underside first before painting the top side. So I painted everything that I could all around the edges with the Krylon Spray Paint. And I also did this out in the grass which really isn't like fancy grass or anything because the spray paint is going to get all over the place and I didn't want to get it on my driveway or in my garage. And I'm not a professional painter, so all I did was just paint the entire wheelbarrow with the spray paint. It worked out pretty well. The paint didn't run, it was really easy to work with, and it covered fairly well too. And then I decided to paint the rim of the tire because I've painted this wheelbarrow before and I had never touched it up, but I wanted to make it look a little bit nicer. So I got my Rust-Oleum oil-based paint and this is the same paint that I use when I'm painting my horse jumps. And I just painted the inside or the rim of the tire. It makes it look a lot better. So you can see where I have the red spray paint that kind of went over onto the rim itself. So all I did was use an old paintbrush and just paint the rim. And I pretty much did this the same like I did when I painted my horse trailer with Rust-Oleum paint. And that paint job has lasted a really long time and I'm pretty happy with the Rust-Oleum paint. So you should check out that video and see how I painted my whole horse trailer with the Rust-Oleum paint. Now once my wheelbarrow was dry, I decided to tip it up and paint the underside and make sure that I didn't miss anything. So the parts of the wheelbarrow that are going to be on the ground, I wanted to make sure and get those nice and coated all the way around on the little sides, the top, bottom, wherever that I might have missed when I had the wheelbarrow laying upside down. Now by this point of my painting, I've used almost one can of the spray paint. So it really does go a long way. And 
once that was dry, I brought the wheelbarrow back up into its regular position. And then I just finished using the second can of spray paint that I had to really finish off the wheelbarrow. And I was able to get most of the interior done as well, but I could get one more can of spray paint and I really think that would make it look even better. So this is my wheelbarrow. It's all made over and beautiful and red. And there is my pretty rim. It's all nice and bright white. So this will extend the life of my wheelbarrow and help it to last longer before I have to replace it and get a new one. And if you're curious of how I painted my horse trailer with Rust-Oleum paint, be sure to click on the video down below so you can see the entire process of how I painted the horse trailer. I just bought some Rust-Oleum oil-based enamel paint, and like I said, the paint job's still going strong. And if you've hung around this long, why not check out my other videos? There's almost 500 videos now of showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse.